thunderstorms, especially by the afternoon. Breaking news, we do now have Hurricane Lee. Winds are at 75 miles per hour. It's moving west northwest at 14 miles per hour. It's organized. It's got a strong core. That's what's new right now. The track has not changed much. It's still expected to become a strong category 4 hurricane with winds up to near 150 miles per hour. By the time we get into early next week, it's getting closer to the southeastern United States, and we need to watch this closely. A new suite of computer models just came in as well. We're dialing them up here. They do show this making a hard right and turning toward the north, but we know with these hurricanes, especially these big strong ones, the more they uh, stronger they are, the harder they are to actually make that turn. So I would suspect somewhere in here between the Outer Banks and Bermuda is going to be a likely scenario here. Just how close it gets to the United States is still yet to be determined. Our GFS ensembles, which is all 26 different runs of the GFS America model, show this curving toward the north as well, which is a good signal. And just in, the European model is in. We have 51 different varieties of that. Almost all of them, too, thread the needle between Bermuda and the Outer Banks. So we've got good signals here, but we just need to see this thing continue to turn. And we need it to turn because this thing is a monster. At this case right now, it would go just north of the Caribbean islands right there, just north of the Turks and Caicos to where this monster is just offshore of those areas. Then it turns to the north. Got to watch Bermuda closely. They could take a direct hit from a major hurricane. The dip in the jet stream. That's what we're watching. That's what we're hoping for. As long as this comes in as strong as is expected and on time, it'll grab Lee and pull it toward the north instead of allowing it to drift toward the west. We will keep you posted. So the four day looks like this.